Why do a market watch when you can have a nice close up view of my face and watch me eating cheesecake instead? Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. So now that that's enough of watching me eat a really sloppy cheesecake, because I took it out of the fridge too early and now it's kind of just like mush. But I guess thank you to my wife for making me some Biscoff cheesecake, which was absolutely lovely. But what we're really here for is Market Watch. So welcome back to the Market Watch, uh, the UK European edition, since our market differs ever so vastly from the American one. Uh, we're going to cover a whole bunch of stuff today. We're going to get stuck right in. I've got a wide variety of stuff I'd like to cover. So if this is your first time here, uh, I'm recording this in my office at work where everyone's working from home. So there's only a handful of us. So if there are any bangs in the background or anything like that, that's probably what that is. So let's get stuck in, shall we? So we're going to start off with Eldlich, the Golden Lord. Uh, as you can see, this guy is absolutely going through the roof. There is a lot of hype surrounding Eldlich uh, as a archetype, monster, whatever the hell you want to call it. There are a few different options for this deck and it is getting a lot of hype. Uh, the Golden Lord in particular, especially now that we've seen his sassy boots that he wears from the full art production, uh, that just seems to have pushed the price up even more. Um, so yeah, it's going through the roof at the moment. It was sat, what, 55 euros and it's it just keeps going up and up and up. 69 euros, the cheapest on card market for English in good condition. And that is from abroad. So you are looking probably closer towards the 75 mark. Is it too much for the card itself? Who knows? Uh, time will tell. However, it is seeing a lot of hype and probably for a good reason. Speaking of Eldlich, we're going to look at one of the other cards here. So we've got Eldlich, El, uh, sorry, Eldlixir of Black Awakening. This is going through the floor. However, it is still a solid 12 euros is the going rate. I think it will continue to drop down a little bit, but on the whole, that's pretty much where we're going to be sat. Next up, we've got the Adamantipator. So this is something that is getting a lot of hype. And as you can see, that is being reflected in the price. The price trend has been around the 40 euros mark, but is continuing to shoot up at the moment. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to continue to do that. We've seen it go from around 40 to 45 euros in a pretty short amount of time. I do think that this is going to continue to creep up. It is pushing up towards the 50 euro mark. On Adamantipator, continuing, we've got Adamantipator Risen Leonide. This is bombing, as I had expected. It is very quickly, rapidly approaching the €5 euro mark. Expect this to continue to decline uh, over the next few weeks or so. But I can see a lot of the other cards from this set actually going up and up and up over time. It is worth noting that the product hasn't been out for very long, so there will be a lot of ebb and flows in the market as a whole. Next up, I'd seen a bit of a tip-off online in a few different spots and places where people have been talking about urgent schedules. So I decided to go check it out for myself, and the price is going through the roof. The price trend has been shooting up towards the 25 euro mark, uh, up about 5 euros or so. It is one of those weird cards that's only had the one print, uh, and it's locked into one of the shit sets that nobody buys. So as a result, you are going to see... The prices on this increase that was always going to happen over time as always happens with these legendary duelist cards however it's now starting to see play and that is pushing the price up quite significantly uh, this might be a good time to sell these if you've got these kicking about in your binders because uh, i imagine that this will be the kind of card that sees a reprint at some point in the near future we're taking a look at the good copy of red eyes fusion uh, from clash of rebellions the price on this has been yo-yoing all over the place but it is sat currently around the 14 euro mark but there are more and more listings going up towards that 20 euro mark so expect this to continue to increase uh, especially with dragoon just around the corner that is going to be getting printed in the tins so as a result there is going to be a lot of those on the market but there's going to be a higher demand as a result on red eyes fusion in particular in good rarities 
We're going to take a look at a couple of Black Wing cards here. We've got Samoon the Poison Wind. This card is... I mean, it's probably the most important card in the Black Wing deck in terms of getting your plays going. It searches you Black Whirlwind and gets you set up. This has always been a little bit more pricey. I remember probably maybe a year ago or so, I bought them for like five... Uh, like five pound each, maybe like eight, nine euros at the time. And ever since then, it's just continued to increase. Right now, they are sitting between 15 and 20 euros. And it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. And again, it's another one of these cards from a legendary duelist pack. One that doesn't really get cracked as much. And as is the case with these things, as soon as the demand goes up, there's always that one important card in each given set that will always go through the roof. And this is a perfect example of a card with a singular print. High demand, especially with Black Wings being played, particularly on a rogue level, but certainly not on an affordability level. And in keeping with Black Wing, we're also looking at Chris the Cracker Dawn, another card that seems to be trending upwards as a whole. Uh, it's currently around the €9 Euro marks. Just to give you some ideas, back in February when I sold mine up, uh, I, well, in fact, I traded them into a deal with a friend for Lightning Storms. I traded them a whole core. I slightly over-traded anyway. But these were valued around €5 Euros at the time. The now probably closer to 10 euros and seem to continue to be creeping up. Again, it's another card that's had one print. Unfortunately, it's in shitty gold rare, but when you need to play the card, you need to play the card. And this is an important card for the deck, especially with the new master rule having come into place. This card is going to help you just build those big synchro boards and push on through your opponent's board. Next up, we're looking at Teardrop. The Ricca Queen, uh, this is just absolutely bombing through the ground. We've seen it shoot down from around 10 euros right down towards a 7 euro mark. Um, and I expect that this will probably continue to go down as more and more of the print comes out and people are cracking more boxes. People are open a lot of boxes anyway because they're chasing after the Eldritch stuff. So as a result, there is going to be plenty of this going around. Just wanted to take a quick look at Fright for again. This is one of those things that it's just that the trend is upwards and upwards and upwards. At the moment, there are some available for around the six euro mark, uh, but the price trend is actually closer to nine euros. Uh, and I expect this to continue to creep up. As you can see, the overall curve is on the way up. Um, so that does mean that although it is yo-yoing, it will gradually uh, rise up. I expect this to hit around the 10 euro mark overall, uh, potentially even higher if we don't see any kind of reprint anytime soon. Probably we won't unless they decide to shove it in an OTS pack as like a common. I can't really see that happening myself. And continuing with Fright Fuzz, we have Fright for Sabretooth. Still an absolute pain in the ass to get hold of. Uh, as you can see, Raffle Nevin selling his copy there for €24 Euros, uh, in English. He's got a couple of those available, but the rest of them are probably getting closer to the €30 Euro mark. As a side note as well, the price trend is around €13. Euros, so the fact that these are now bought out at that kind of level and only €22, €23, €24 Euros plus uh, would indicate that probably this is going to continue to go up. Uh, and as such, I would say if you've got copies, you might want to start thinking about selling those soon because there's a good chance that it starts to drop again uh, once this kind of uh, madness wears off. Next up, I just wanted to take a quick look at probably the most popular cards out of Dual Overload. Firstly, we're looking at Halka Fibrax or Needle Fiber as we prefer. Uh, the price trend has been around the 20 euro mark over the space of the last month. However, it is worth noting that uh, on the whole, it is still decreasing very slightly. I would get these relatively soon. I have said this for the last couple of episodes. I would really consider picking this up soon. Because once competitive play resumes, these are going to go through the roof. Mark my words. If you don't believe me now, you're going to find out when it's too fucking late. This is going to go back through the roof as soon as competitive play resumes. So I would consider, highly consider picking one up now whilst they're relatively cheap. Next up, we're looking at Predator Plan Vert Anaconda. This is one that has been yo-yoing all over the place, although it does look like it's back on the up again. And again, this is another card that I feel that whilst it's relatively low, I think at 18 euros is still a pretty good price. It is going to shoot up again once competitive play resumes. Um, you should probably have your copy already anyway, to be quite honest with you. This card's going to be really, really important uh, over the course of this format and potentially the next few, especially while people are still experimenting with it. We've seen how impactful it can be. Uh, and I, I do think that this is a card that you should absolutely have in your collection and available to you. Again, it's sat around the 18 to 20 euro mark. Expect this only to increase over time. And finally, we've got Union Carrier. This is one, again, that's yo-yoing all over the place. It's still only around 8 euros as a whole. There are some as low as 7 euros 15, but of course, you've got to factor in your postage and that kind of thing and, and you know, time to get here and that kind of stuff if you're ordering from outside of the UK, into the UK, that is. Um, I think that this is a really, really solid price for this card. Again, 
I feel like it's one of those cards that can only really go up in the long run. I don't expect to see reprints on these cards from Dual Overload. Not for, you know, anything that's debuted in this set, I should say. Uh, not anytime soon. Certainly not in the next six months to a year. So if you're going to want these for competitive play towards the end of the year, when we're likely to be playing again, now is probably a good time to pick them up. Because by then we're going to see print runs running short and that kind of thing. And then, of course, the price is going to go up. So that is it for today's Market Watch. Thank you very much, guys, for checking in. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, hopefully you've really enjoyed this and you'd like to see more in the future. In particular, we do focus on these UK and European Market Watch because there is such a demand for the US one, but there really isn't anything catering to the EU market as far as I can see, so I'd like to provide you with that. If there are cards that you would like to see covered on this, you can definitely get in touch with me. You'll be able to find me easy enough on Facebook. Uh, the Rufio page is out there. I've got Twitter, Instagram. You can even comment in the comments, of course feel free to do that as a way of communicating i do read all of the comments that get posted thank you very much again guys for checking in hopefully you've really enjoyed this if you haven't already please hit subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility thanks again for checking in and i'll see you in the next one